Okay, so today I am finally doing a video that I have been hoping I was going to be doing for a year. <laughs> and that is to tell you guys that our adoption is finally at its end. If you don't know, two years ago, my husband and I started the adoption process for our second child, and it is a long and arduous process. It has been the most, the biggest emotional roller coaster I have been on in my adult life. But we got the call yesterday that it is time for us to bring our daughter home. So, man, we are just in a place of celebration. We're just really, really, really happy. So this is gonna be a hopefully quick update where I'm just going to tell you about my plans moving forward with maternity leave as we are adjusting to a lot of new things as well as for the channel moving forward. I'll try to keep it brief. Okay, so this next part of the video, I'm gonna go into what my plans are for filming moving forward and for video upload schedule moving forward. But I'm actually having to cut this next part because uh, my plan was to finish out this week videos but and do a bunch of pre-filming but our dates actually moved for got moved up so now we're actually leaving to go get our daughter on the day that this video is being uploaded so this is my last video on this channel until well all throughout the month of November um, and so my last video on this channel until December. I'm sorry for the short notice. I had planned on giving you a little bit more notice than this, but my, my notice changed. But everything that I say from this point forward about my video schedule and what my plans are is correct, except for what I said about pre-filming. I didn't have time to pre-film, but that's fine. I'll do some filming after I've been home for a couple of weeks. So the rest of November, I'm taking completely off, and for that first week of December that's kind of shared with November, that'll be off as well. So my first week back to putting up videos is going to be the is going to be the first full week of December, and at that point, I will only be posting two videos a week, Tuesday and Friday, one bookish video and one manga video, one piece specifically. Then in January is when I will be kind of back. It's when I'll be post er, making new videos again and not posting pre-filmed stuff. Um, and at that point, I will be back at three videos a week. I'll probably never go back to four videos a week, Truthfully, four videos a week is a lot to manage already. And uh, you know, with the, with the big life changes we're gonna be having, I just don't think that it's realistic for me to be managing moving forward. I'm also changing the way I review. I've been reviewing every single book that I read and sometimes double it, doubling up on those books. But the reality is that reviews just don't get watched very much um, unless it's a really, really popular book which I don't mind terribly because I just love discussing books, but it's really negatively affecting my channel because the algorithm is a cruel mistress. So I'm going to be shifting that to where I'm only doing dedicated reviews for more popular books that a lot of people will want to discuss. And for the less popular books, I'll just have that in my wrap up and I'll make those sections of the wrap up that didn't get a dedicated review a little bit more extensive. So it's kind of like a mini review in a collection. Like it's probably a lot more common on this platform anyway. But anyway, I also just really, really wanna thank you guys for all the love and support that you've given. You guys have been so supportive from the very beginning of our adoption journey and I haven't shared a lot of it because it's just it's just a it's just a lot <laughs> and it's it's just been easier to keep them separate. Um, but the amount of love and support and people DMing me and emailing me and and pinging me on Discord asking like how's the adoption going? How are you doing? has just been really really awesome. Um, and I don't know, I can't really, I can't really express to you how happy we are that we finally get to bring our daughter home. It's been such a process and I'm just so happy to finally have her in our home so, so soon. So thank you so much for all of your continued support and, and love throughout these two years that we've been doing this, that we've been waiting on her and, you know, it, adoption is a huge adjustment. She's two years old. She's had the same caretaker her entire life. So it's going to be a huge adjustment for her and for us. But, you know, we're just, 
we're just so excited to have her as a part of our family, finally. Now, I wanna put this here just because I know that some people will ask. I know that a lot of you guys have been with me for a long time through this adoption journey, and I know that some people will want to like see her or get to know her a little bit. So a little bit of background. Um, back when my channel was much smaller and my son was much younger, I used to do weekly vlogs where I would talk about what I'm reading, but I would also show like day-to-day -day life with me and my family, including my son. But about a year and a half ago, I think, my husband and I kind of realized that my channel's getting bigger and my son, our son is two. He's not a baby anymore, he's a kid. And um, at that point we realized that he may not appreciate a lot of people watching him grow up. He may want a little bit more privacy than this and he's not in an age where he can really understand or express that. So we decided to stop putting him on camera, stop putting his face on my Instagram, stuff like that because we wanted to protect his privacy until he was old enough to be able to consent to the amount that he wants to be online. We are gonna offer that same privacy to our daughter. I know you guys have been with us. A lot of you guys have been with us throughout this entire process, um, but Adjusting to a new family and a new home and a new life is a lot for any kid and I just don't know that she would want that documented on a platform where there's a lot of people watching. And I just really wanna respect her privacy and let her decide how much of herself she wants to be online when she's at an age that she can decide that. So I just wanted to address that. I just wanted to let you guys know that that is the choice that we're making, that she's not gonna be in my video, she's not gonna be on my Instagram, unless it's like the kind of stuff that I do with my son now where his face isn't in it. I know there are tons of people that have YouTube channels, that have big Instagram accounts, which I don't, that have a platform that, you know, are very interactive with their kids on that platform. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This is just a decision that we've made for the sake of our kids. It's just what feels right to us. But anyway, I know this is more of like an informational, here's, here's my plans, here's what I'm doing with my channel, with my uploads and everything, but I just am just so, I'm just so, so happy that it's finally time and I can't wait, I can't wait. And I just, just thanks, thank you so much for all of your support. I know you, I know you guys will be patient with me in November while I take time off to just focus on our families adjusting and ever, all the needs that we're gonna have here. And um, I appreciate that. I appreciate how supportive and kind you all have been. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to let you guys know this exciting news and what my channel's gonna look like for the next couple of months while I'm on maternity leave and while we're adjusting. Thank you again for everything. I love you guys. I'll see you in December where I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and Friday.